effort in order to modernize the social assistance system by transforming it from a passive system into a proactive one, ensuring the shift from a benefit-based system to a service-oriented one. Thank you. Now I give the floor to the youth delegates. Mr. Chair, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, the priority team of the 2019 session is of paramount importance not only for the leaders of all member states, but also for each and every youth residing in those countries. In extenso, worldwide governments are struggling to tackle discrimination, marginalization of various social groups, high in income inequality, persistent unemployment, and lack of equal access to basic services, resources, and opportunities. The Romanian government is no exception. In our official capacity as UN, uh, UN youth delegates, my colleague and I met and discussed with young people from a myriad of social and economic backgrounds. In this context, we discovered that although advancements were made in multiple areas, a high proportion of young Romanians still face the risk of social exclusion and poverty. Material deprivation is still present in certain regions and opportunities for youth are scarce. Moreover, Young people need appropriate representation in the policy-making process, higher financial support for their endeavors, and amenities capable to foster accessibility for youth with disabilities. From our position, we strive to disseminate youth-related strategies, studies, reports, and legal provisions through two online youth platforms we are currently developing to pursue to persuade local leaders to create youth councils and to join the World Urban Youth Councils Network of UN Habitat to connect various stakeholders with the aim of nurturing the progress of young people and to create mechanisms that can increase the civic engagement of the aforementioned group. Nevertheless, much more is needed in order to achieve sustainable development. Exempli gratia, only the judicious spending of public resources coupled with substantial social protection programs, policies aimed at increasing the level of social inclusion pertaining to the young people, neither employment nor education or training, a wide range of employment opportunities, and the focus of political leaders on youth-related issues can fulfill the pledge of leaving no one behind. Now I give the floor to my colleague. First, I am talking in the capacity of a youth representative, speaking for the youth from Romania. And second, I am a young person myself, struggling to find my path. We are always wondering where to start to achieve social and economic development, understanding that all elements are interconnected and each one of them needs to be improved in order to have a performance society. The youth is a nation's future, and we keep talking about it, but it isn't, it isn't sufficient unless we are directly involved in building the own future. Striving to build a career and succeeding in life are always top subjects among, among youth, though there are various challenges that are sometimes difficult to overcome. For example, what we seek in a job is more than making a living, is meaning. To find meaning in work, this is what keeps us going, and unfortunately, in the first years of the activity, we are neither prepared for such a responsibility as it requires skills that we rarely master in school and it is bending to adopt them individually or allowed to make mistakes and eventually to exceed our potential. Having so many opportunities, many young people are leaving to study and work abroad and this is great because they have the chance to get meaningful education and significant experience, but are we ready to welcome them back? How are we using the youth potential to develop? If we want youth to be able to give back, like in an incubator, youth should be prepared and protected and sustained to achieve work and maturity. To assure balance, the change must start as well from the top as from the grassroots, in the hope that the two will meet. But there are so many inequalities that even if one side is stretching ahead, a hand, there are big chances that it won't be catched by the other side, especially for those young people who, had hard, uh, who hide hard life stories behind the bright smiles. The youth is ready to get involved, but it needs to know that there is a safety net in order to dare to fly. Thank you. 
Je remercie son excellence, Monsieur le Vice. I thank His Excellency, the uh, Vice Minister of Labour and Social Justice of Romania, and also the two youth delegates from Romania. I now give the floor to His Excellency, Her Excellency Alexandra Turkina, Deputy Minister for Social Policy of Ukraine. Uh, 